Welcome to the Teledynamics video training series for the UCM 6300. Here are the topics being covered today. For simplicity, I've added a table of contents in the description below, allowing you to jump to a particular content section of the video. Now, let's get started. The first step is to log into the GUI of the UCM. Today, I will show you how to create a ring group and queue using just the basic settings. The easiest way to determine whether or not you need to use a ring group or a queue is to ask yourself, do I have more people to answer the phones than I have simultaneous incoming calls? If the answer is yes, use a ring group. Otherwise, you would want to use a queue to have your calls answered by the UCM and then have your callers wait on hold for an agent to answer the call. To create a ring group, go to Call Features and click Ring Groups. Next, click the Add button. Give your ring group a name and add the members' extensions you wish to ring. You can move them over from the Available box to the Selected box using the checkboxes and arrow buttons. You will most likely want to change your ring strategy from Ring in Order to ring simultaneously, and your ring timeout to something less than 60 seconds. A good rule of thumb to use is each ring takes about 4 to 5 seconds, so a ring timeout of 20 seconds would be approximately 4 to 5 rings. If you need one extension to forward calls from the ring group, you would enable Endpoint Call Forwarding Support. If you need caller ID to distinguish what ring group the incoming call is from, you can enable Replace Display Name. In the example shown, I will just be enabling the destination for the call to forward to if no one in the ring group answers the call after 20 seconds. Remember to always save and apply changes. To create a queue, go to Call Features and click Call Queue. By design, there are a lot more settings you can define using call queues. For example, Virtual queues let your caller set up a callback number for the UCM to return the call when an agent is available. You can also have queue reporting and dynamic agents log in and log out. I will cover these options in more detail in a subsequent video, but for today, I will just be showing how to create a basic queue. Click the Add button. Give the queue a name. Then hover the cursor over the different options to see a brief description of what each does. In the example, I am just changing the destination if no one answers the call within 60 seconds. Next, check the Advanced Settings tab to see what options are available, followed by clicking the Agents tab. Here you will add the Static Agents to Ring by moving the extensions from the available box to the selected box. Again, remember to save and apply changes. In a future video, I will show you how to route calls to these new ring groups or queues using inbound routes. But if you would like to test your new ring group or queue, you can dial the extension number of each as shown here.
If you enjoyed this video, please click the like and subscribe buttons below. The voiceover service featured in this video has been provided by me, Allison Smith of the IVR Voice. Contact me today for your customized IVR and voice services needs. If you have questions or need additional information about the topics covered in today's video, please contact your teledynamic salesperson or contact us using the information provided here.